because I'm working on the trestle, I have been able to come outside to try and enjoy some of this really good weather that we are currently having. So it should be a nice day if all goes well. It's a new project kind of day and I'm here with my new trestle set up. I've got my clamps on and so that's holding my canvas in place because this time I'm going to be trying to stitch straight into this canvas. And so I've already prepped the design onto the canvas which should be pretty good now ready to go. I've also decided that I'm going to be using um, my kind of pretty much go-to favourite um, coats thread because it's nice and thick because we're using the canvas, I want to make sure that it's going to be strong enough to hold up to what I'm about to put it through. And because I really like working with that one, hopefully that will make my life a little bit easier. Because I'm working on the trestle, I have been able to come outside to try and enjoy some of this really good weather that we are currently having. So it should be a nice day if all goes well. Fingers crossed for me. So because I'm working on a canvas, I am anticipating that it's going to be a fair bit harder to work around the edges, but with a bit of perseverance I think it's going to be possible, particularly as I'm working with the sequins again, so the stitch that holds the sequins on the edge doesn't have to be right at the edge, if that makes sense, because they're a little bit... Um, the hole is a little bit in from the edge of the sequin. So I'm going to be starting with the tree sections because they have the kind of greatest sense of movement in them and once I've got those in then I can sort of focus on filling in around them and hopefully that will work to kind of pull everything together. I'm not going for a totally realistic look with this particular piece. 
um, I will be using a mixture of black and kind of shades of pink for the trunks but with my experience of this technique it doesn't it, like you don't see the colors of the sequins the way you usually would because of kind of the density and viewing them from above rather than from the side so I think this will work it'll it'll be an interesting test all the same are going crazy behind me. Anyways. So I thought I should um, let you in on what is going on with this piece and why I've decided to work on it and what's it all about. And so, like with most of my pieces, they are, you know, all of, of usually photos that I have taken as the starting point. And this piece is um, actually of a tree that is in the woods near where I currently live that we have we pass all the time and it's a really beautiful old tree it's massive um, and so I've taken a lot of pictures of it during lockdown in the various seasons and I just thought it would make a really nice subject matter um, for this next piece trying to combine that sense of movement um, with the sequin approach that I've been going for and trying to get more of that sense of flow without it being as linear as the landscape piece but still you know really catching the light which is what I loved about the silver fronds piece and because I've taken so many photos of this one tree over all of the seasons I feel like there's a sort of um, combination to be had in bringing those photos together and so because of the way that I do the sequin project I've mentioned before I feel quite influenced by some of the impressionist artists that sort of playing with light aspect and you know blurring the boundaries it's not as crisp and as clean as um, you might expect or as it could be for a project like this because the sequins are relatively big on a stitching basis but for me that's part of the beauty is that you know if you step away you start to see the image come together but up close it's all just kind of beautiful colours. I am combining in the draft that I created several of those photos into the one. I had one that I took in the snow that because of the snow and because it was winter gave it this really crisp clean edge which was great for drafting but the piece that I found the most inspiring was in fact a photo that I took last summer which was up through the canopy and you know you can really see uh, the different colours in the leaves and also the shade of the sky is what strikes me the most and that's currently actually my screensaver on my phone because I loved it so much and I've had it for the last year and I have no plans to change it. So I thought trying to bring that to this particular canvas would be a good idea and that combination I guess brings a sort of like cubist elements to it. Um, you know looking at the same subject from different angles at different times and then representing that all in one piece. Cubism isn't something that I normally 
am drawn to, I'm going to say. I'm not a big sort of Picasso fan and I, I never really got it. But for this piece, I feel like it really could be an interesting angle to develop and I don't know whether that's still going to actually come across in the finished piece because it will have that kind of impressionist blurring applied to it so you probably just won't be able to you know see those finer details I expect but it'll be an experiment all the same like with all of these pieces basically I'm about I don't know, an hour and a half in so far, so I feel like I'm going at quite a good pace. As you can tell, I am stitching outside today, which I have to say is really lovely. Um, as I am such a pale creature, I am very much sticking to the shade. Working directly onto the canvas is going pretty well so far. Um, I mean, I don't see that many people doing this. I feel like maybe I'm doing something slightly wrong because it's not being that difficult. Or maybe it's because I'm not trying to do that dense stitching work. Obviously, each of the sequins is reasonably large and so you get more space between your stitches because each stitch you make does punch a hole in the canvas for sure and so I don't know whether it's that you know I wouldn't recommend trying to silk shade for example directly onto a canvas I think that would be a disaster and I thought that it was going to be really tough on my hands actually as well but I'm not really struggling too much with that you'll notice I am wearing my thimbles all i can say is that it's it's really lovely to be outside i don't know if you can hear the birds are pretty busy around me i think that's quite sweet a little renaturing for me Canvas tree projects take five. It's a new project kind of day and I'm here with my new setup. There's a giant bee somewhere. The bees are going crazy behind me.